multiple metatarsal fractures. Uh, he fractured it in July of 2017, and then again in September of 20, uh, 2017, and just recovered in time for the World Cup. So while we're talking about this, what exactly is the metatarsal? And can you give us an idea of exactly what we're looking at when we hear about that injury? Definitely. I mean, the, the metatarsals are the, are the bones that are in the inside part of your foot. It's, it's not necessarily the, the midfoot, but it's in the area between the mid and forefoot. Why is this? When you, when you look at the metatarsal then, why is this a, a, an injury that is always so prevalent? What is it about the bone structure here that makes us see this as a constant injury? I think one of the reasons that it's such a constant injury is, is like we were saying before, this is kind of an overuse injury a lot of the time. So you, you'll get kind of a stress fracture that, that uh, develops over time and then eventually it goes on to break, break. Uh, there are different types that you can have. You can break at the, uh, the proximal or the, uh, the base of, the, fra of the, uh, the bones up here at the top. And, and that's different, you know, depending on where you are and what, what bone it is. I know. Uh, Neuer, his, his was supposedly the second metatarsal, which is this one here. This one has a, has a nickname as kind of being the keystone part of the foot. And again, I don't know the exact nature of his fracture, but if you break it here, you can get what's called the Lisfranc type fracture or injury. It's a very, very severe injury, and those tend to, tend to take a while to get better.